This might be the last episode of Season 6. However, we might have one more because we could find ourselves in a cup final come the end of this episode. Today, we are going to be playing at least two matches in this episode. We're going to definitely be playing against Vyborg, who are currently second place, and a win against them will push us up into second place. And I don't know who else we're going to play. Probably one of Randers, Copenhagen, Bromby, or maybe Vyborg once again. Before we get to our first match, though, I need to talk to you about transfers. More specifically, players joining the club. In between the last episode and now, we had the Youngsters of the Year, the Next Gen Awards and all that kind of stuff. Two players on that list stood out because they were available on free transfers. Orlando Mayer is one of them, hopefully getting himself a work permit after he had a tour of America. Um, the waiver system in America is nuts. He went to Minnesota, they then released him on a free, he went to LAFC, he then went to Atlanta, he then went to Toronto, not Atalanta, Atlanta, and then went to Toronto and then got released. He literally kept getting released and released and released, and eventually, I think he had enough, and we've been able to swoop in, and Maya might be joining us. Problem is, he is a central midfielder or a defence midfielder, a position that we don't play, so we're definitely going to have to retrain him. This one, however, this one's ridiculous, isn't it? Edwin Rubio, a 19-year-old from El Salvador, already with 20 caps to his name, was released once again in the stupid mess of the waiver system in America, played for Colorado for one season, and then he just got released, and we've managed to pick him up on a free transfer. He is hopefully getting himself a work permit soon. There's no reason why he shouldn't get himself a work permit. In fact, in today's episode, Rubio will be getting himself a work permit. He came, I think, about 30th or like 30th to 40th, in the next gen awards the other guy Maya was 40th to 50th so we've got ourselves two potentially very very good youngsters that have cost us absolutely nothing however in order to fund those transfers we have sold our sell-on for Antonin Lecoq it's cost us I say cost us we've earned about three million pounds from it I hope this isn't a mistake the 50% sell-on for Lecoq has gone to bring in two potentially superb world-class, hopefully world-class, Central American players. Anyway, there's been a lot of uh, admin so far in today's episode. We've played three matches, I believe, off-camera. OB, we win. We draw with Randers. We draw with Bromby. We've actually gone undefeated so far this calendar year. Our last defeat was way back on the 6th of November, ignoring, obviously, the friendly against Salzburg. So we are doing very, very well. Viborg's going to be a tough match, and then Copenhagen straight after is definitely going to be a tough match. The starting lineup then for the Viborg game will be Pitts in goal, Mortensen, Olesema Jr. and Tan in defence, Strunk and Madsen in midfield, Pete and Montano on the wings, Barisic and Maya leading the lines. I'm still worried about this. Tan is wanted by Porto and Leipzig now. We might not be having Erkan Tan around for too much longer. This is a potentially season-defining match, isn't it? If we can win here, we go up into second place potentially ruin Viborg for a little bit as well. They've just lost their last game as well. So maybe two defeats on the spin is going to just damage their confidence so much and they're just going to slip down the table. We can hope. Eight minutes on the clock and we've got the ball through Mortensen on the right-hand side. Strunk with it. Back to Oli Summer across Junior and Duca. Where are we going to go? Passing it round slowly, trying to make some space for ourselves. Not getting out of our the first third so far. Barisic can't win that head. And now, Viborg with it. Tan steals it off, though. Olesema to Madsen. Forward ball towards absolutely nobody. Barisic doesn't want to go for a header either. I assume he wants to keep his hair nice. I don't know. Does he even have hair? Saeed in on goal. And Saeed is tackled spectacularly well. That's not a penalty. VAR be on my side here. That looked like a very good tackle. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Penalty not awarded. If it's not awarded, that's a dive, right? If it's... It's no penalty, which means that's a booking for Saeed, right? That was a superb tackle from Olesema. It was Olesema, wasn't it? It wasn't Duka. I'm not quite sure. From our central defenders, we did very good tackling. Strunk's long ball towards Meyer, and he's just he's given up, hasn't he? We're going to have two Meyers playing for us in the future. It's just going to get confusing. Lund, what are you going to do? 14 minutes exactly on the clock. Big kick over the halfway line. Tan heads forward. Why is Tan across in the central defence positions? Not sure why that's a thing he's doing. Ollie to Strunk. Pete gets it. Mortensen's gone for a run. Pete keeps hold of it as well. Myers just doesn't want to go for any runs at the moment. This So far, this match is a mess, isn't it? Not a lot's really happened. We've had a contentious penalty call, which was never given. Barisic has managed to win a corner? I think that's a corner. I don't know what's happening in any of these highlights. 
What's it going to be? It's going to be Pete to take the corner towards the front post, headed clear by Scholl, and now Wale Aguili can possibly do something. Is this going to carry on? They're going down the wing. Tan's going to get there. Now Barisic has nicked it. Now Nduka. Highlight looks like it is carrying on. Tan then over the halfway line. Back to Junior Nduka once again. And this is where the highlight just randomly ends in like 17 minutes on the clock and no shots happen in it. And Duca to Tan down the line. Montano, there's two, three in the box. Does a spin, crosses it. Myers facing away from goal. Invites the fullback Mortensen in. Barris has just hit the underside of the bar. And the ball is cleared. What's just gone on? Pete with a free kick towards Oli Semmer. And Oli Semmer's hit the bar. And now Tan's effort is deflected over the bar. What is happening in this match? This has been just weird, hasn't it? Strunk with a corner for us then. Towards the front post, nobody's going to attack that one. Maya's going to hopefully keep this one alive. Tries to cross it, hits it straight into Ajumang. And the highlight ends. Somehow pitaluga has gone up to a 7.0, part of all that. I don't think he touched the ball. Since the absolute calamity that was about the 15th minute onwards, not a lot's happened. In fact, nothing has happened really on camera. It is half time. We've had nine shots, one on target. We simply have to get better in front of goal. We do. We genuinely do. That, that statement makes sense. We've now had 10 shots. An XG of 1.05. Zero goals to show for it. 10 minutes into the second half. Vyborg have the ball. Sondergaard on the ground. And Duca nicks it though. Strunk can lump it upfield towards Meyer. Runner in the shape of Montano in front of him. Does it use Montano? He's got Barisic in the middle. Barisic places it into the bottom corner. That's going to count. We have hit the post again, which I think is the third time on camera that we've hit the post. We might have even hit it off camera. It is now 1-0 against Viborg. We move up into second place and Duca's free kick. Meyer's headed effort goes over the bar. I'm excited because second place is, I think, possibly Champions League qualifiers. I'm not sure. It might be Europa League straight into the group stages or very near to straight into the group stages if everything stays this way. Right, time for some subs, and annoyingly, we're going to have to do some defender subs because we've got too many yellow cards there. So we're going to do... The... Oh, we've got no centre-backs on the bench. Fine, we'll replace the two full-backs, which Mortensen's probably not going to be too pleased about it, although he's calm. He's calm. Maybe... Let's... No, let's risk that. That's a big risk. I'm going to take off Tan because he's looking aggressive, so that's definitely something we should be doing. We're going to do Milos Markovic, or do we do Hoyland, actually? Let's give Hoyland a run-out, Sure. So after all that talking, I did two subs, didn't I? Strunk has the ball. Oli Sema across to Nduka. The subs, I don't think, have taken place, have they? How They they have taken place. What am I talking about? Mortensen with it. Lumps it upfield towards Barisic. We've got Hoyland in the middle. We've actually got a couple of options. And Montano is there at the back post. He was the second of the options. Gets his second goal of the season. Only two goals this season. One of the first years in charge of Esbjerg. Didn't he get, like, 20 not that it is guaranteed, but that goal should put us in the driving seat for three points in this match. We've looked very good, to be honest. We probably should have scored more than we have. I've paused it to do a couple of subs. We're going to do Pete's coming off for Klanak. We'll do that on the right-hand side. He's terrible on the left. We're also going to take off Strunk for Mads Larsen. One more change. Do we do Markovic? Do we do Mar I mean, I feel like that's a bad idea, but we'll do Markovic as well. I'm guessing we're going to see the corner. We are going to see the corner. Strunk is still on the pitch to take the corner. And Barisic is there. We won't take Barisic off. He's just scored a brace. No, we won't proceed with the tactical changes. We'll, we'll go again, shall we? Right, we're still going to do two of them. We're also going to take off Mortensen, I think. Mossen is going to come on. So Barisic keeps his place. Markovic, unlucky not to come on, really. But now Barisic is on a hat-trick. This isn't a highlight, by the way. This is just because we're trying to do some subs and we've just scored a goal. It might be a highlight, actually. It's, it probably was a highlight. Pitts with a good save. It's also carried on and Viborg coming forward. I don't think this is a highlight. I genuinely don't think this is a highlight at all. It's another shot. In fact, somebody was offside. It's a free kick. And now we can do our changes. All of our subs have taken place. A 3-0 win potentially against Viborg is massive, isn't it? This is a massive win when it comes to the end of the season. We've got three minutes left to play. Can we make it four? Barisic to Klanak. Plays it on the ground towards nobody, really. And it's all the way back with Lund in goal. He's gone for a big kick. Hopefully, we're going to get there first. We do. Gercic collects. Junior and Duka. Forward to Madsen. Back to Oli Semmer. Now, Mossen on the right. Forward finds Klanak. Larsen. We're passing this around like we are superb at football. And Emil Hoyland tucks that ball away. The flag might have gone up. The goal's been awarded. Doesn't matter. It is 4-0. Well, that second half performance was probably one of the best performances we've ever seen from this Esbjerg team. 
That was absolutely nuts. Bartol Barosic getting himself a perfect 10. Montano getting an 8.7 with a goal and an assist. Even Emil Hoyland coming off the bench and scoring as well. That is certainly looking quite tasty. 26 games played. We've only got how many left to play? What's that? Four, five, six games left to play. Only six matches left to play. We are currently in second place. We're probably not going to catch Copenhagen. What we're going to do now is we're going to go forward to the other side of the second AGF game. So Copenhagen and OB off camera. Also the DBU Pokalen semi-finals as well. We might play Randers. I don't know what we're going to do, basically. We'll come back in a second. So we've just finished the second leg of the DBU Pokalen semi-final. And we are through to the final. It says against unknown. It, it's against Copenhagen. They've beaten, I can't remember, I want to say Nordsjøland 1-0 after two legs. Um, we have done quite well, obviously. Ignoring the 2-0 defeat, we beat AGF 2-0. We then won 6-1 against OB. You know I said the Viborg second half was the most impressive performance? Wrong. It's this one. We scored six goals in the final 30 minutes of the match. It was a bit nuts. We scored a goal. We scored three goals in the space of three minutes. All three different goal scorers as well. Barisic, Musakiri, Maya scoring, Markovic getting one as well. And Mohamedou Gay scoring twice as well late on in the match. So it means the league table looks a bit like this. Copenhagen, the champions. We are still only three points clear of Viborg. We are going to go forward and we are going to play someone. It might be Bromby. I think we might play the Bromby game. And we might play the Viborg game. I don't know. We're going to go forward at least to the Bromby game, I think. Right, two more matches have been played. And it is getting awfully tight for that second place position. We are currently sat in the position. However, we have just lost against Copenhagen. And we did draw 1-1 with Randers. Viborg beat Copenhagen, which is why they are still in the chase. But then they lose against Bromby. Bromby have beaten OB and then obviously just beaten Viborg. So there are three teams in the fight. Next up, we have to play Bromby. And then straight after that, we have the cup final against Copenhagen. And then potentially, we've got a match against Viborg as well. So we're going to play Bromby on camera now. There might be another episode of Season 6. We are away from home for this match, which... Adds an extra bit of complexity, I think. It's going to be Pitts in goal. Mortensen, Edwin Rubio, Jr. and Tan. Rubio did get himself his work permit, so he's obviously playing. Because he's very, very good at football. Sorensen and Madsen in midfield. Peter Montano on the wings. Barisic and Maya leading the lines. We've got some fitness concerns. Larson and Strunk, which is why we're seeing Sorensen playing today. Other than that, I'd say we are basically full strength. Bromby on very good form by the looks of it. Three wins in their last five. They do have a defeat in there as well, so they're not in perfect form. We've got three in our last five as well. However, we've drawn and lost our last two matches. So we do need to kind of come out on top of this one. I think because of the amount of games that are left, I think we've got three games left to play. Maybe four? I should know how many games there are left to play, shouldn't I? I feel like I should know that. But because there's not many games left to play, we are basically guaranteed second, third or fourth, I think. 20 minutes have already been played and nothing's happened. Possession-wise, we have not had the ball much, but Bromby haven't done anything when they've got it. It is Jellart or Yellert with the ball. The fullback plays it in the middle, intercepted by Madsen. Now we go forward. Pete on the right-hand side. He's got three black shirts in the middle, four, maybe five. Montano wins the head. Madsen is there, and Nicholas Madsen makes it 1-0, barely 30 minutes on the clock. We take the lead in what could be an absolutely massive, massive game for us. Three points could guarantee us European football, I think. I don't know who Viborg are playing. There is a one-in-three chance that Viborg are playing Copenhagen. Although, didn't, no, they've just beaten Copenhagen, haven't they? So maybe Viborg are playing Randers or OB. And you'd have to expect Viborg to probably win that one. I mean, it's half-time here. It is 1-0. Not a lot is really going on at all. Defensively, we're not playing well. Rubio and Duca and Erk and Tan all on 6-4s up to a 6-6. So not doing particularly amazing. Strikers as well struggling. But we've got the goal. 65 minutes on the clock. This match is flying through, isn't it? Pitts with a goal kick to Rubio. The El Salvadori International. El Salvadori? Is that how it's said? Probably not at all. Junior and Duca's ball upfield doesn't find a black shirt. Instead, finds a yellow one. And now, ball on the ground. Junior and Duca can steal that. Mortensen, the captain, been here since day one. Pete can't get the headed effort. 
And now Bromby once again coming forward with the ball. Olofsson to this man's name. In the middle is that man's name. And it's 1-1. Schwartau could be his name. Schwartau makes it 1-1. That's their first chance they've had all match realistically. We've got an injury in Tan. So Gurchich is going to come on. And Duke is coming off as well for Oli Semmer. Because he's clearly taken the blame for that one. Mai is going to come off for... Mm, we'll do Hoyland. I think we'll do Hoyland. Sorensen as well can come off for Mads Larsen. Lots of changes there for us. We're still not playing well. The players that are still on the pitch, it's only Madsen and Montano who are doing well. And I imagine that's because of the goal. And that's pretty much it. It is Schwartau with the ball. Plays it back to the Bromby defence. Ball over the top. We need to get there first. We don't get there first. We have lost against Bromby in a crucial match. That was awful defending. Rubio, I think, was the man to take fault for that one. He just let the player run through. Considering we scored the first goal of the game, to throw it away in the second half, as badly as we've done as well, is it's not it's not good. It's definitely not good at all, is it? Right, thrash arms, you weren't good enough. And you have to agree because you were pretty poor. For most people, it's literally only Montana and Madsen who played well. But huge news elsewhere in Denmark. Viborg have lost against OB, which means Viborg don't leapfrog over us. Bromby have worse goal difference than us, so they still only move up into third place. We keep our second place with just a couple more games left to play. And a couple of games that Tan is not going to be playing in because he's out injured for three to four weeks. Not ideal. And by a couple more games left to play, we've got the cup final and we've got Viborg. And that is it. Which means we have to have both of those on camera, don't we? Which means we're going to finish this episode here. We're going to have one more episode of Season 6, which will decide whether we are finishing second, third, or fourth place in the table. Whether we are lifting our first real trophy of the save as well. Which has arguably come a lot quicker than I thought it would, considering we've actually got two promotions under our belt as well. But it's, it's, it's okay, isn't it? Is it okay? I'm concerned. We've beaten Viborg before. A win is enough. Who have Bromby got? Bromby have Randers. So you'd have to think that Bromby are probably going to win their game. So we need to match whatever Bromby do. That's all we need to do. If they lose, we can lose. If they draw, we can draw. If they win, we have to win. It's not going to be fun. And obviously as well, we've also got the cup final. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll be back next time with the final episode of Season 6 with Esbjerg.